Alright, um, today I'm going to make a short video about this relative velocity question. The, yeah, re relative velocity question. And I guess this is the question for 2007, 2007 May-June paper. Okay, so... Uh, no, it's not May-June. I mean, it's 2007, February, March, and paper 2-2 for additional math in IGCSE. Right, so yeah, because the student actually asked me about this question, so I decided to actually make a video for it. Yeah, so let's have a look on this question. So calculate the magnitudes of the calculate the magnitudes and the bearing of the resultant velocity of ten meter per second and the bearings two hundred forty and five meter per second due north. Okay, so over here basically you understand that you have two different you will have two different uh, velocity. So we, the first one is velocity is 10 and the bearing is 240. And the second one is 5 and actually due north. So I try to sketch this out. And then, and then what we want to do, what, what we want to find over here is basically we need to find the magnitude and the bearing for the, for the resultant vector. Uh, yeah, for the resultant velocity. So we need to find the magnitude and bearing for the resultant velocity. This is our objective M. So okay, so now I try to sketch out both vectors, just give you some idea. Okay, so this is 10 and on the bearing 240. So it will look like this. Okay, let's say let's say this is north. Oops, uh, okay. Okay, let's say this is north, and then 240 will look like this. Okay, so basically you will have a, uh, 180 here, plus another 60 here. So yeah, then you will get a 200, you will get a 240 over here. Okay, so yeah, I hope you, you can get the idea. So yeah, so if you can get the idea, then this uh, vector basically is, this vector basically is 10 meter per second. I, I used to draw a triangle, actually it's uh, unnecessary. Lah. You just need to understand this vector is 10, should be, should be good enough. Okay, yeah, lah. do not draw so many lines. I make this so messy. Just let me draw again, I just don't like, it's such a messy thing. So basically, oops, you will have something. Okay, this is vector 10, and then here will be 60. Here's 180, so total is 240. And then you have another vector which is due north, due, uh, due south, I mean, and uh, it's 5 meter per second. So in order to find the re resultant vector, you know this vector has to sum with another vector. So of course you have to understand what is resultant vector. If you don't, yeah, maybe you have to check out my uh, vector video. Okay, so so I just trying to connect like this. Lah. I make the triangle look easier a bit. Okay, this is this one actually is this line. I connect over here and which is five meter per second. And the other one, it will be this one. Okay, I use a green color just to get you, uh, get you some idea. And then the resultant vector, I will use the black color. So this is my resultant vector. This one is what we, oh, uh, is what the question actually call here, the resultant velocity. Right, so now what I want to do is, yeah, I need to find the magnitude. Magnitude means actually the speed. Okay, magnitude actually means the speed of the uh, resultant velocity. So, and this is 10. And because this is 60 degrees, so I roughly, I know this is 90. So actually, you're trying to imagine I connect the 5 over here. So my total angle here will, will be 360 minus 100, uh, 240, right? So this one should be 120. So therefore, my total angle inside will be 120. Right, so in order to get the, uh, the speed for this one, so we know we can easily uh, get it by using cosine rule. So in order to use the cosine rule, I will say, uh, okay, I call this one as V. So V actually will equal to 5 square plus 10 square minus 2, 5, 10 and cos 120. 
and then need to square root the answer. So you just use the calculator, you should be able to get the answer easily. 5 square plus 10 square minus 2 times 5 times 10 times cos. Make sure your calculator is in the degree mode. And then you square root your answer. Yep, you should be able to get uh, the answer will be 13 point two will be 13.23 meter per second. Now you already get the what they so-called the magnitude. Yeah, you can write the full form if you want, like magnitude or resultant velocity is this one. Or you can write a V la. The examiner should be able to understand that. Alright, then the next thing we need to do is we need to find a bearing of it. So in order to find a bearing of this uh uh, resultant velocity so yeah seeing this here over here is the south so definitely if I make the thing longer I can know where is the north because bearing we always need to know the from the north so north is basically here so what I want to do here is I need to find the total angle here this one the whole thing here is my bearing so if I can find this bearing then I can easily get my answer so I know the outside here is 180 this one for sure already so what I want to do is I want to find the inside I want to find this angle so in order to find this angle I will use sine rule or cos rule yeah but obviously using the sine rule is a lot easier so I just say like sine theta theta which is the angle here over the opposite length over 10 equals to sine 120 uh, which is this angle over this velocity we have 13.23 okay over 30.23 okay so then this is 120 degree yeah sorry about my messy writing and then you just solve this one you can easily get the angle what you need to do is you use your calculator 120 and then you divide it by 13.23 and then you multiply by 10 yeah sine 120 over 13.23 and then you multiply by 10 yeah you should be and then you, you shift sign your answer, then you should be able to straight away get the angle, which is uh, 40.9 degree. Alright, the 40.9 is only this angle, is not yet the bearing. So in order to find a bearing, so what I will do over here is basically I will use 180 degree, which is the outside here, plus the 40.9. And then I will actually get like 220.9. And I check the marking scheme really means both of the answer is correct. And some students actually like quite worry like they form the different triangle with mine and then will their triangle be wrong? Okay, here I want to like mention something. Okay, if you if you use the correct uh vector method, no matter how you form the triangle, your answer should be always the same. So over here I I just give you some idea about different pattern of the triangle yeah the method is always the same use the cosine rule and then you have to use the cos rule okay so for example okay actually normally normally you will have two way to form the triangle okay let's say you do not want to form like mine you actually you can try another method but since they want to find a resultant vector so I know this vector I mean this vector plus this vector should equals to the resultant vector so in this time I trying to connect like I trying to connect like this. I use this one first, and then I use this one second. Okay, so so I will have the green. It's over here. Uh, you want to draw how long? It doesn't matter, but just draw until it's nice. Okay, the the five I use red color. Okay, resultant vector ah uh, resultant velocity I use black. Yeah, your triangle can still look like this. And then you will cat you yeah you sh this is the v you want to find and then this is uh this one is the five and then this one will be the ten okay because you see this vector plus this vector equals to this vector so this is how this is why actually they call it re resultant velocity I mean actually both of the velocity plus together you you will get this uh you will get this velocity so if you draw like this then you might got wrong let's say you draw like this this is 10 this is the I uh, use by the same color just give you some wrong example okay this is a green one and then this is a red one and then you're trying to connect like this 
is wrong because of what you can okay, you see the arrow this arrow doesn't sum with this arrow because both of them give are going the different direction so this so this is the reason you you don't have any uh okay so because you connect like this so what happened is actually you make this line become the resultant velocity because you can see this vector actually equal to this vector plus this vector so but this is not what you want because the question asks you to find a resultant vector so you know the resultant velocity which is not given okay so since the resultant vector uh resultant velocity is not given yeah so you have to draw the last line by yourself which is this one so you always want to make this one as a resultant velocity please check it out on the i think if you really not understand you can go to the additional law of vector law of vector yeah in this topic actually it will teach you about how to how to see which one is a resultant vector yeah i used to i used to say it as resultant vector so by over here is resultant velocity both of them are the same thing all right we still have another part uh, yeah so this is how you get five mark okay this is just another two mark question it should be very easy so the the uh the car traveling okay a car traveling is is along the road with a velocity so the car is actually traveling this side so velocity of the car is given which is 38 kilometer per hour uh pass a lolly traveling west on the same road okay at a velocities of 56 kilometer per hour but okay now the lolly actually traveling to the west okay velocity of the west equals to uh 56 what am i writing no, i mean velocity of the lolly equal to 56 kilometer per hour okay you just imagine okay without using any theory just imagine when the car going this way the lolly going the other side and then they ask you to find a, or, or write down the ver velocities of the lolly relative to car mean lolly relative to car mean mean this is something that the 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 car driver actually look at the lolly Okay, mean you are the person who driving the car. When the lorry passing by you, you will feel the car is actually faster or smaller. Uh, it's faster or slower. So you just imagine if if you you use the car you're traveling this direction and the lorry traveling the same direction. Okay, even yeah, your speed is maybe 100. The the lorry speed is actually 80. When you pass by the lorry you doesn't feel that fast so actually you will feel quite slow one okay so so normally okay slow means somehow actually we mean we have to minus it okay however if if you travel 100 here the lolly actually travel opposite direction 80 actually you feel that the, the lolly is very fast so it's something like you have to plus them okay this is the logic but then actually if you know the formula is is a very easy because it's the two mark right the question doesn't even ask you to calculate the question asks you to write down I mean if you understand you can straight away write write it down the answer maybe two or two step only so so over here the question actually want the velocity of the lolly relative to car then i will write out re the the relative velocity law so i will add an equal add a plus here do you see the l here do you see the L here? Then I will write velocity of L here. Do you see the C here? Then I will write the velocity of C here. This is how we actually form the formula. So I have velocity of AB, let's say A relative to B. So what I will do is I will add a plus and equal sign here. So B, I will write the B here. A, I will write the A here. Okay, this is what they call additional law in relative velocity. So this formula actually tells us what? Okay, if velocity of the car uh they want what the, the lolly relative to car all right so velocity of lolly is 56 and then equals to this is what they want to find so i'll leave it here plus the velocity of the car okay now because they're in the opposite direction so basically you need to make this one at negative because they are not in the same direction the same direction both is positive all right so or you can try to assume uh, you can try to assume. Uh, no, I just 
Yeah, you just remember opposite direction at a negative la. Actually, I, I, I want you to try to assume move right is, is positive, move left is negative, but I find out that it doesn't apply in this case because end up you will get a negative value. Okay, so yeah, just leave here is negative because it's opposite direction. So I want to find the velocity of a lorry relative to car. So it's basically I move the negative 38 to the other side. You just plus 38. Then you, will, can, you can easily get the answer. The answer should be 94. Is it 94? Yeah, kilometer per hour. Yeah, this is how you get the answer for this part. Yeah, I hope this short video actually can make you understand about about this uh, question because I know uh, those students who actually taking the May June paper will be have the will be having exam on next Tuesday. So yeah, I hope this video is not too late for some of you. Anyway, thanks for watching.